In this module, we're going to look at various MEF related demos, including building filtered catalogs, a custom programming model, extending Visual Studio, and using MEF with MVC. A filtered catalog is one that allows us to restrict which parts are available to the catalog. It's most useful when working with nested containers when we want to only load certain parts. We didn't cover it in the previous modules because it doesn't come with MEF. In fact, we have to build it ourselves. But that's okay because it isn't that difficult. First, we'll start off by adding a new class. We'll call it Filtered Catalog, since that's its purpose. There are a few ways that this could be accomplished, but the way we'll do it in this demo is to have our Filtered Catalog inherit from Composable Part Catalog, which, if you remember from earlier, is a primitive type from the Primitives layer. In the constructor, we'll take in a catalog that we'll apply the filter to, and then a generic func that takes in a composable part definition and returns a bool. By taking in a catalog as a parameter, we don't have to write the code to perform discovery ourselves, and it lets us use any type of catalog. Think of our filtered catalog as a wrapper. We'll use the generic func to determine if the part should be included or not. Next, we'll set up our method that will perform the filter query and return a list of acceptable parts. To do this, we just use a link query against the parts property on the catalog, which is an iQueryable of composable part definition. To determine if we keep it, we'll call out to the inclusive filter func that we received through the constructor. Then we'll return the results. Now all we have to do is override the parts property, and in the getter, we'll return a call to the filter parts method. And that's it. We're done with the catalog. To use the catalog, we need a method that performs a query to determine if the part is acceptable. So we'll set up the check part is temporary method, which will take in a composable part definition and return a true or false. Inside the method, We'll check the parts export definitions to see if one or more of them contains a piece of metadata called is temporary that has a value of true. Then we'll return the result. In the main method, we'll set up an assembly catalog and we'll pass in the current assembly. Then we'll set up an instance of our filtered catalog passing in the assembly catalog reference, and then our filtering method. All that's left now is the container. Before we run, let's set up some parts. Part A, Part B, and Part C. We'll give Part C some metadata, is temporary, with the value of true. When we run, we can see that the container only has part C. Even though the assembly catalog has all three parts, our filtered catalog prevented the other two parts from being provided. When the container asks our catalog for its parts, we use the list of parts the assembly catalog found and just filtered them to provide the final list of parts of the container. We're filtering on metadata in this demo, but you can filter on anything you want as long as you can get the information from the composable part definition.